For hours, dozens of law enforcement agencies joined Cranberry Police in searching for a man who was described as not coherent, who had come to this community with a carload of guns. We can tell you that for a while, this community was under a shelter-in-place advisory. That suspect is now dead, but details of his end have not yet been made public. What set this in motion was a call from employees of Cranberry Highlands Golf Course who encountered the man who had said his car was disabled. Cranberry Police Chief Kevin Meyer tells us. He wasn't speaking coherently. These employees recognized uh, that there were, there were weapons inside the vehicle at the time, uh, specifically seeing long guns, and there was a weapon described to us as an AR-style uh, long gun that was in the vehicle. When police came, the man had left his car, but what police found raised more concern. Inside, they could see long guns, and additionally, they found some notes inside the vehicle that were extremely uh, uh, concerning to the officers, uh, indicating that this person was not mentally stable and possibly wanted to do harm to either himself or others. The shelter-in-place advisory continued until after three when police encountered the man in a wooded area near Fresh Corn Road. Police say he is no longer a threat to the community, but there are no details yet of how he died. The chief confirmed the notes in the man's car referenced UPMC in some way. I didn't see the note, but from what I've been told, it, would, it had to do with the physical security of a UPMC facility. I don't know which facility, I don't know where, uh, it wasn't specific, it, would just, it just mentioned UPMC. State police are handling the aftermath investigation. In Cranberry Township, Bob Mayo, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.